everyone! It's me, Chrissy, and I'm finally here with my holiday haul. Um, I'm gonna split this haul into two parts. Uh, the first part is are the books I got myself in December before Christmas, but I got them for myself. And part two are the books that people got me, or rather my aunt and my grandma, which is like the better part of this haul. But anyway, so um, the first book that I got this month, well, I'm actually not even sure like which book's the first anymore. I just know that I got them all. Um, but this one sort of really interested me because it's book one and it's called The Innocent Mage in the Kingmaker Kingbreaker series by um, Karen Miller. I believe it's about this kid who's like uh, wants to, he has grand dreams and then um, he walks into this town and he doesn't know he's like the super mage everyone's been waiting for and the like the high mages or something uh, He's like watched by members of the circle, people dedicated to preserving an ancient magic, and um, he might just find his destiny. So that actually sounds pretty good, and the book was floppy, so I'm like, yes! So there. Also, oddly enough, doesn't this look like the um, cover for, the new cover for The Assassin's Apprentice, and it kind of looks like a hobbit? That one, the, the Assassin's Apprentice cover kind of looks like The Hobbit. And this looks like another Hobbit. So yeah. And then after that, I was able to find book two of the Thousand, the Inheritance Trilogy. It's called Broken Kingdoms by N.K. Jemisin. The book one is um, called Hundred Thousand Kingdoms. It's about like these three people who are about to inherit um, like a hundred thousand kingdoms, but they have to like fight for it and stuff. Basically, it's kind of like, you know, Jupiter Rising. Well, that's my interpretation. I haven't read book one yet, but it was pretty good, so I decided to just get book two. As always, I do that a lot. Um, okay. For the third book that I got in the month of December, it's The Wanting Seed by Anthony Burgess. If you've read A Clockwork Orange, you know how violent it is. And, um, right? And you're kind of like, why would you read something like that? But it's a classic, and it was actually really good and i also watched the movie so that was interesting and so you're probably wondering what made me say yes to this book with an egg in the cover what made me say yes was reading um this line this time of the near future is eventually transformed into the into a chaos of cannibalistic dining clubs fantastic fertility rituals and wars without enemies and i was just like yes Yes, I want to read about cannibalistic dining clubs and wars without enemies and the other one. Yes, also Anthony Burgess. And I'm pretty sure this will be easier to read than um, Clockwork Orange because that one had like r some Russian terminology and I had to constantly um, consult like the Wikipedia page for it. So, Whew, okay, it's, it's really hot up here. Um, the next one is still in plastic and I don't want to take it out. It's book two in the um, Throne of Fire. It's called Throne of Fire. I forgot the um, King Chronicles. In the King Chronicles book two, Throne of Fire by Rick Riordan. I'm slowly collecting his first series because um, I want to read all of his books obviously because he's very good because I started out with the Percy Jackson series and then I moved on to his um, Heroes of Olympus series. So. Now I kind of want to read the first one, the one about Egypt, so it should be interesting. And okay, this is also in plastic. So I got these for myself during the month of um, December from National Bookstore. The first one is The Storied Life of A.J. Fikri by Gabriel Zevin. And this is a book about books and I really like, actually I saw this was like really highly recommended. Um, from other people's channels and also thanks to Tumblr who wouldn't like the, I saw this like on my dash repeatedly for like about a week and I'm like what's it about and I read about him like it's about a guy who has like a bookstore and he's experiencing experiencing really bad sales and then um, his price collection of Poe poems have been stolen and it actually sounds really interesting because I like reading books about bookstores or libraries and it's 
they may always make it seem like it's um, a really magical place and it just sort of brings in like a fantasy element to it and that's just for me anyway so yes I hope I can read this this year it looks really good and I got I know this is like out of order but I just want to save the best for last so anyway I got the Queen of Shadows by Sarah J Mass yes in this cover because this is what they were selling it for here this is book four in the uh, Throne of Glass series and you're probably like why book four I've never seen you haul the other ones I'm like that's right I read book one audi in audiobook and then I ordered it so I'm still waiting for it but I got book four anyway because I know I'm just gonna love the series but <sighs> I just got book four here in uh, my city, but I asked my friend Kara to get me book three, book two and three in Manila. But before I'm gonna show you that cover, I got um, House of Mist by Maria Luisa Bombal. Bombal. She is a um, actually this is set in Argentina, and I've never really read anything in Argentina. Also, this has like magical realism in it I'm told and it's a Chilean novelist so diversity woman writer yes also it was kind of cheap so and I like the cover and how the inside looks that's just me I don't know it looks really good especially the spine anyway okay so now the main event of this haul it's book two and three whoops Crown of Midnight and Air of Fire. Finally, after a year, I got it. And I really like the spines, how pretty it looks, the covers, and how floppy it is. Compared to like, where is it? Uh, this. It's like smaller too. So yeah. But you know what? It doesn't really matter. Like the covers that you get it in or people are always like, oh, I like it hard bounce. It all looks good on my shelf. But you know what? It's really expensive. And at the same time, what's inside is the same story anyway so i don't really care how the spines match up anymore or like what cover it is i just know that i want that story like i want the substance inside i don't care about the outside anymore even though yes the outside does play a part i pretty much only want what's inside now so that's right i got deep i'm not shallow anymore no nah, just kidding anyway um yeah so that's it for my holiday haul part one Ugh. so many books finally i can do this again i miss doing this okay thank you for watching thank you for sticking around have you read any of these are you planning to read any of these uh let me know in the comments below bye